Uh, how, how tough was it just to start yesterday, even before Jamie, just, you know, the first goal they scored and everything that happened from there? Yeah. Um, wasn't the, the start, obviously, that we drew up. And, uh, yeah, I mean, I think, you know, if I make a, a couple of big saves early, I think it's a different game. A couple of games we have gotten pulled have had distractions, Miro getting hurt and then Jamie. Does it affect you at all? I mean, do you look back at it now and think, okay, that whatever that play was, I lost a little bit of my focus. No. Okay. No. Yeah. How do you refocus and get back tomorrow? Yeah, just I mean, I had a great skate today. Kind of first time, you know, in a long time that I've been able to put in a ton of work on a practice day. Um, so I feel really good right now. I just got back to the basics and uh, just gonna take it one shot at a time, you know, for the rest of this uh, series. And you know, it's the first team to four wins, so they don't have that yet. So we're. It's not over, and uh, I think every guy in this room believes we can come back. We talk so much about emotions. Can you bring us to the emotions sitting on that bench seven minutes in with a ball cap on and then the process of trying to get yourself to a good spot for tomorrow? Yeah, you pretty much you know, feel like you want to cry. You know, it's, it's obviously, you know, put your whole season into this and you want to play your best in these moments. And when you can't do that for your team and you know, for your fans, it's uh, one of the worst feelings in the world. So it's uh, it's part of the position. You know, this is uh, when people say, you know, the ups and downs. This is the down. So um, you know, I uh, I'm never gonna give up. I'm never gonna stop believing in myself. So I uh, I'm gonna go out there tomorrow and. and put it all on the line and put my best foot forward. We've talked to you every series about bouncing back from losses. You've done it so often. How do you pull from that once again? Yeah, just just learn that uh, that's what this playoffs is all about and it's what the great goalies do. So I'm going to go out there tomorrow and give my team a chance to win and and uh, and just go from there. What was the really messaging good. like with Jamie? Did he say anything yesterday in between periods or after the game or today? Just what, what was his messaging like to you guys? Yeah, I think more more us to him is that you know I obviously was on the ice, so I don't know, um, but we w we want to play for him and be able to get him back in the series. I don't know if he's is he been suspended or anything. No. Um, so we want to play no matter what happens and, and get him back in the series. So um, you know he, he's our leader and he would do anything for you know the guys in this room and we want to do the same thing for him. So um, you know we all have his back and, and we love him and we're gonna play our asses off tomorrow for him. You've been really good historically in the elimination games, even last year when you guys lost in that game seven in Calgary. Uh, how do you explain kind of how you're able to do that, how you're able to up your game when the stakes are highest? Yeah, that's that's what you want to be able to do is to play your best, you know, when the season's on the line. And obviously this isn't the, the situation that we wanted to be in, but uh, it's the reality now. And teams have came back from down 0-3 before, so, you know, it, uh, why not us? You mentioned that, you know, what can you pull from that history that there have been four different occasions where teams have pulled back or the things you can study from those scenarios? Yeah, I think it's just one game at a time. Obviously, it's pretty cliche, but uh, we win tomorrow and, uh, you know, and then anything can happen. So that's our main goal. We, you can't uh, can't win four games, you know, in one day. So we got to start with, you know, playing our game tomorrow, putting our best foot forward and, and doing the little things that have helped us get to this point. What do you think of some fans throwing some trash on the ice? in the later stages of that game? Yeah, I uh, thought it was pretty unfortunate. Obviously, uh, you know, I saw, you know, their goalie got popcorn thrown on him. Like, that's, that's not cool. And, uh, you know, that's it's a couple of, you know, bad instances kind of putting a, a dwell on, you know, the, the greater hole that would never do something like that. So it's, it's pretty unfortunate. And, uh, you know, hopefully that didn't happen again. Pete was quick to say you're playing tomorrow. What, what does it mean to have the confidence of the group and the coach? It's everything, yeah. I, uh, you know, I, I you know, felt like I've done a good job getting the team to this point, and uh, you know, I, I want to be the one to go out there and, and have a great game. You know, when our season's on the line, so you know, it's it's now it's up to me. Is there any doubt in your mind about it? No, not at all. Talk about the emotions. What about the confidence factor of, you know, like how your confidence is hit in a series like that where you have three goals on five shots and then also how it can flip. You make a big save, you know, early on tomorrow night. For sure, yeah. It's just goaltending in a nutshell. Um, you know, and when you think you got it all figured out, then you get shelled and you start back at the drawing board. So, um, you know, I, I'm 
like I said, I'll never lose confidence in myself and my ability. And um, you know, I'm just going to go out there tomorrow and, and try to have fun and enjoy every moment. Do you feel like y'all have been snake bit <clears throat> this series, where you're not necessarily outmatched, but it just hasn't gone y'all's way in the three games? Yeah, I mean, a little bit. I think uh, you know, obviously we lost in overtime in those first two games, and um, could have gone either way. And uh, but I mean, it shows you. It's not like we're losing 7-0 every night. So we're right there, and and you know, we all believe we can win four games.